There are many different modes of rap, such as gangster rap, nerdcore hip-hop, and crunk. Um, I mean, there are three main ways within WebGL of repeating a texture. These are called rap modes. Here's a demo showing them in action. The repeat mode is the one you're most likely to use. It simply repeats a texture one after another. If you want to have things look continuous, such as water, then the texture itself needs to be what is called seamless, where its edges match up. If your texture is not seamless, one cheap way to tile it across the plane is to set the wrap mode to be mirror repeat. This concrete texture is not seamless. I just grabbed a piece of an image on Wikimedia Commons. With mirror repeat on, the texture flips on each repetition. This is a bit easier to see with the R texture. This wrap mode is not a great solution. It's often clear that the texture is being flipped in this way. Still, it's better than nothing. The third wrap mode is called clamp to edge. The drawback or feature of this mode is that the pixels on the edge are used to fill in the area where the texture does not appear. This is the default mode for wrapping, as it has some advantages for filtering along the edges when the texture is not going to be repeated. This code shows how to set each of the three wrap modes in 3JS. The S and T axes essentially mean the U and V axes. You can, in fact, mix and match these modes, repeating on one axis and clamping on the other. Now give the demo a try yourself.